Johnny from Union Media here. In this video, we're going through the second of three phases of setting up a Facebook ad, which is called the ad set. So stay tuned. At Union Media, we help companies grow and thrive using the latest tools, tricks, and online marketing techniques. From websites to automated sales funnels, social media content, and much more. We're constantly releasing new material on our YouTube channel, so make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out. Just before we get going, I want to very quickly tell you about our exclusive offer. We are giving away free access to our paid Hub Uno platform for the first 50 people who click on the link in the description. This offer is going on all of our YouTube videos, so hurry and make sure you get your place. Within Hub you know, we have created over 100 training videos in 13 courses, including a course on running successful Facebook ad campaigns. You'll also find recorded webinars and a host of other free content, so remember to click on that link in the description. Now let's get on with the video. In the ad section of a campaign, you'll be choosing the audience you are going to be targeting, the conversions you are looking for them to complete, and the placement of your ads. You should already have your conversion and audiences set up, leaving the major decision being where you should run your ads. This is an important consideration, as a Facebook ad would look very different to an Instagram ad or a desktop ad when compared to a mobile ad. We recommend not just targeting audience, but also ad placement. This means different campaigns running, targeting specific ads at different platforms. Let's have a look at this section in the campaign setup. We will join it just after the end of the campaign section from the previous lesson. So to start with, you've got your ad set name. Now we're just going to leave it as GB18+, and we usually say to name this what you call your audience. So this would stand for uh, Great British 18+. Now the destination, this is where you're sending your traffic to. So is it a website, is it your app, is it Messenger, or is it WhatsApp? In this one, we're just going to stick with a website. So we're looking to drive traffic to a website for a conversion. Now, this is where you tell um, Facebook, when you're sending the ad to people, what are you looking for? What optimization are you looking for for the ad delivery? So we're looking to send people to our website for a conversion. Now we've got to firstly select our pixel. And off a pixel, we've got to choose our events. We've got a few events in here, and we're gonna choose the free purchase, no signups. Okay, so that means people are, it's tracking people that visit our website. It's looking for people that are free sign up and go through and complete our page, which is the conversion, and it's gonna try and find people like that. So cost control, just show you more options for a second. The conversion window, so when it counts a conversion, is seven days after clicking or one day after viewing. And when we get charged, you get charged on impressions. Now, these two here, we're gonna go through an offer um, how you put together an offer in one of the webinars that I'll attach to this course. But one thing we would advise you turning on is Dynamic Creative. Now what Dynamic Creative does is let you choose like, I think it's up to five images, five headlines, a um, few call to action buttons, and it tests out which ones work the best with your audience. And we use this all the time, and we've, in a number of our campaigns, actually halved the cost of acquisition simply by starting off a dynamic campaign saying this image works the best um, or this headline works the best or this call to action works the best and then changing it for our next ad set. So we are definitely going to keep that on and I'll go through that in the next video. Okay, as we scroll down, this is where we choose our audience. Now you can go through here and set up an audience, but we have already set up a saved audience. So we can use a target audience and the audience we can go for is just a free sign up one. And that's 18 to uh, 65 small business owners in the UK. Now the next thing it comes down to is the uh, detailed targeting expansion. Now I'd recommend you not turn this on because what this means is that Facebook will look at your audience and see who's signing up and then try and find other people outside this audience like it. But we are just going to do it, um, just keep it for this audience and this targeting for the moment. Okay, next is the placement. So this is where your ads are gonna go. Now there's two options here. I've got automatic placement, and this is where you use automatic placement to maximize your bids, to Facebook show your adverts to more people. 
So this is where Facebook is going to show your ads across multiple platforms. However, we usually use manual placements. Now the reason for that is that we then have control over where they go because they could be a Facebook, Instagram, audience network or messenger and Facebook and Instagram ad will look very different. So let's say you want to do a desktop device. You'd unclick mobile for desktop only and you can see it takes out Instagram and it takes out messenger and these are the places where it can go. Now, one of the important things is you get the type of ads correct. So say for example, a Facebook newsfeed. If I highlight Facebook newsfeed and scroll down here, this will show what the image is like. So for a Facebook newsfeed, they recommend a square of one to one. We also have, for example, a Facebook marketplace ad or a Facebook right column. And a Facebook right column, that's what they recommend for the size for a um, column like that. So you might want to, if you say you've got aspect ratio of 1.91 to one for your images, you want maybe want to just select those ones that are going to appear like that. So you can go through, have a look at all these different sizes, untick or tick where you want those ones. And then once you've got your audience done, you can have a look at the show more options here. And this is where we go through to devices. So if you choose a mobile audience, you can choose if it's going to iOS or if it's going to Android users as well. Now the final thing we come down to is optimization and spending controls. So define how much you'd like to spend. So you can say run my ad set continuously starting today. What we usually choose first off is set a start and end date. So we set a start and end date for our ads when we're looking to see what our cost of acquisition is or our cost of conversion is. So we'd maybe start off and just see what happens over four or five days, maybe spending five to 10 pound per day, how many conversions we're getting, maybe which image works the best and try it for another four or five days. Once we've got it down to something that we like the look of, we would then switch to running it continuously. And if we have a look at the share more, show more options here, this is simply the ad spending limits where you can put on spending limits for your ads. But if you set a start and end date, that controls your spending limits. So the next one we're gonna look at is how we set up an ad or how we set up multiple ads.